Shadow Arm. I want to start off by giving all praises, Allah and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahushai, Natan Mashanaka, Badla Hasa, Kwame Mashal, Yasharela, which is to say, give the book honesty to the elders of Israel, which is the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, the Shadow Arm, Makasad, Laha, Baki, Yashal, Yasharela, which is to say, peace and mercy to the lack of Israel. Alright, um, as you can see, uh, uh, the title here, or this video on your screen, um, from the so called purple regime, you know. Um, of course, you know, the only purple regime there is is IUIC. You know, um, these guys, uh, these guys are, are going off really, really bad. These guys are false prophets, you know. Because I mean, this video was um, was done uh, in two thousand sixteen, I believe. Yeah, uh, two thousand sixteen. But you know, I just happened to see it. You know, and um, I just thought I was touching it one time because these guys, these guys are uh, on on total folly. These guys are um, uh, are the actual false prophets that the scriptures speak about. You know, these guys. You know, you take any Mosai, the Mosai um, high holy days, and you know, turning it into a feast, like the Passover. You know, they 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 commercializing the Passover, right? Which really and truly, you know, the Passover is one of the most serious assemblies. That's why they call it a solemn assembly. It's one of the most serious assemblies, you know, in in all of Israel. You know. Because really and truly, you can get jacked, jacked up for that Passover, you know. So, um, so I just want to play this clip, you know, so you can see, you know, how wicked these guys are. I just want to stop it for a minute. You know, these guys think this truth is a joke. These guys think these scriptures is a joke. You know what I'm saying? Because these niggas rapping. Are you serious? These niggas rapping. This truth is not. This truth is not about no rapping. You know. That's why we give all praise and I'm going to tell you how about Shemi Shai because. That's what we're here for, to praise the Mosai name, to wake up the luck, you know, not to, not to go on a damn music video, rapping, and rapping about what, what, purple rain, rapping about the color of your garments, you know, these, these niggas are proud, you know, and, and, and the thing about it is, you know, they, they call themselves prophets, but really and truly, have you seen any of the prophets before rapid? 
the scriptures talks about any of the, any, any of the um the prophets that was before us that are rapping I mean, come on so i'm just gonna be some right there um, <coughs> um this is a uh, This is Romans chapter 15, verse 4. It says, For whatsoever things were written aforetime, uh, yeah, were written aforetime, were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. So, whatever were written, was written, whatever is written in the scriptures, in this Bible, you know, is written for our learning, right? That's what it's written for, it's written for our learning. And, it's crippled, and, it, and there's no any scriptures that's teaching you how to rap. There's no any scriptures that telling you you need to sing about, you know, your garments. And basically, it's no different to, to what these rappers in the world do, because they rap about clothes, they rap about shoes, cars, they rap about material stuff. So basically, what they're doing is no different to what these rappers are telling the world doing. They're rapping about your purple garments with the gold accents. You understand? These guys are all these guys are false prophets. Right? Um first five it say Now the power of patience and consolation grant you to be like minded toward one another according to to you to Mashiach Yehoshai. Yeah, so we're supposed to be like minded. Right, one to another. You know, so the same way how we, how shy was, we need to be the same way. We just be in the same mind, the same spirit. Right, verse six says that ye may with one mind and one mouth glorify power, even the Father of our of our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Yeah, so we need to be in one mind, in one mouth, glorifying Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. But these guys not in the same mind. They're not. That's why that's why you find like you'll see uh 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 IYC uh each um uh what's this other group ISCPK you know they not glorifying they and, and we under Great Millstone you know we not all these camps all these different you know churches you know we not glory not the so, so like all these other groups are not glorifying um you know the only real the only real camp or the only real, real, real group or the only real men of the lord right that are that are actually you know serving a call upon the name of the Hashem Yashai with one concept or the name of the lord with one concept is like this great milestone basically that that's what it is you know because the, these other these other Israelite groups are not of one mind, because they have different doctrines, they're teaching different things. IOIC teaching how to get rap. IOIC is not even teaching the name of the Lord. They are calling on Sesha Boje, Jesus Christ. That's not been in one mind. That's not been that. That's not glorifying the Mosai with one mouth. You know. So that's what that, that you know. That's what it's all about. So that's why you need to search the scriptures, you know, that to see if um, you know, if our forefathers wrapped about the about their garments. This is Job eight and eight. It says, "For inquire, I pray thee, for the former uh, of the former age." Was the former age? The former age is where uh, is where is the age that our four parents were in, All right? And prepare thyself to the search of their fathers. Yes, yeah, so we, we we need to search. We need to search about our four parents. Find out if they were rapping. You know about their garments. That's basically what we need to do. Find out if they rapping about their garments. If they were rapping about how much sheep they have. They were rapping about how many, how many camels they have. You know, if they were rapping about how, how many women they have, they won't. And because they were all seeking, you know, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. They were serving Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. <coughs> so, like, yeah. 
C'est là que. You know? So, the scriptures are basically um, sealed. You know, for, for these false prophets. You know? And it's only kings who really search out, you know, the truth. Right? Um, Proverbs 25 and 2. Right? It says, oh, sorry, okay. Right? It says, it is a glory for power to conceal a thing, but the honor of kings is to search out a matter. Yes, so the honor of a king is to really search out a matter. And it's a glory for the most high to conceal a thing, you know, to conceal a thing and conceal what? What is he? What, what is he concealing? He's concealing the scriptures. He's concealing the, the, the true understanding and knowledge of the scriptures. You know, from these guys. You know, these guys don't have the truth. You know, they don't even come in the spirit of your Bashem Yashay. They come in the spirit of, 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 the, of their so-called white Lord. You know, the white boy Lord, Jesus Christ. You know so i mean but then again you know there's absolutely absolutely nothing you know what you know what was singing praises unto the most high right but you know that that spirit that that's in hip-hop that's in rapping you know it's not really glorifying because i mean king david you say you say praise you say praise the most high in songs you know, so there's absolutely nothing wrong with songs because music, music serves a purpose, right? Music serves a purpose in its truth. You understand? But, but you know, you're not gonna you're not gonna sing about your 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 purple garments or your white garments or your black garments. You're not gonna sing about those material stuff. You know. So you know, just to prove that, let me just get a piece of real quick. Um, let's go to Psalms, you know, because the book of Psalms is what is songs, right? King David, King David sings songs unto the Most High. Right, so Psalms seven and seventeen, right? It says what it says. I will praise Jehovah, right? According to His righteousness, I will sing praise to the name of Jehovah. Of your Hawa Mosai. I will sing praise unto your Hawa. That's what it's about. It's singing praise unto your Hawa. You know, sing praise is according to his righteousness. These guys they're not they're not singing according to you know to the Mosai righteousness. Listen to this. This biggest most looking dude. Yo, nothing has come out of this guy's mouth. This righteousness unto the Most High. Nothing has come. Out, nothing that has come out of this guy's mouth is, is, is singing praises unto the Most High. Nothing. This guy is rapping about teaching classes seven days a week. Rapping about the name of his uh, of his organization, IUIC. You know. What part of this is you know, is glorifying Yahweh Hashem Yashai? What which part? Of course, you know, you know, this big devil, you know, this, this deceiver, this serpent, you know, it's no, it's no different to the so-called white man, right? It's no different to the so-called white man because, you know, he's lying to you. He's, he, 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 he's taking the scriptures and twisting it, you know, as Apostle, Apostle Goba says that, you know, that they're nothing but a glorified Baptist Church, 
with an Israelite twist. That's all they are, a glorified Baptist church with an Israelite twist. You know, these guys are not coming out of these scriptures. This guy is a false prophet and he he's gonna receive he's gonna receive receive death from Yahweh Bashim Yashai. He's gonna to, going to receive death when Yahweh returns. You know? I and you know the people you know people say, Oh, you know, when he called, can judge me. Have a quick piece of breath. You know, the Mosai is not the is not the one gonna be doing judging. Alright. This is um John John five and twenty two. It says, for the Father judgeth no man, right? Because they like to say, you know, only God can judge me, right? It says, for the Father judgeth no man, but hath committed all judgment unto the Son. Yeah, so, you know, Shai is the one that's going to be doing the judging. You know? He's going to be doing the judging. saying about people you're in like what the hell these garments and these fringes are more important to these guys okay this 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 future looking dude yo you didn't even understand what this guy is saying what are you really rapping about or you know are they praising the most you these guys not praising you, how about Hashem, you know, Shai? These guys are rapping about themselves. Those guys are proud. Those guys are proud. You understand? Know, scripture says you need to be humble, you need to be meek. You understand? Know, Let me get a quick piece of there. Oh. Psalms 22. Oh, no. Psalms 22 and 26. Right? It says what it says the meek shall eat and be satisfied. They shall praise Yahweh that seek him. Right? Your heart shall live forever. Yeah, so the meek the meek will be the meek will eat the meek shall eat and be satisfied. Eat what? Not food. They talk about spiritual food, which is the scriptures. The meek will eat the scriptures and be satisfied. These guys these guys are not satisfied. They want more. Right? They want they're not even eating the scriptures. You know, according to Ezekiel, um, I think it's Ezekiel 3, where it says, eat the eat this roll. Right? Because this the scriptures is basically spiritual food. Right? The most I said what man, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every every word that proceeded out of the mouth of the most I. So really and truly, you're supposed to, you know, be eating, eating these, these scriptures up. But these guys are not satisfied. They want more. They want more money because basically it's a business. It's a business that they have. These guys, these, these guys doing this thing for natives doing this thing for filthy lucrative. You know. These guys are not praising you, but Hashem, you Psalms eighteen. And three. It says, "I will call upon Yahweh, who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies." You know. So I mean, if you wanna, if you wanna sing about something, you know, you know, sing praises unto Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, sing praises unto the Lord. You know, sing about, you know, that that we wanna be saved. You know, from our en our enemies because we do have enemies. You know, so we have enemies. You know. Let me read verse two. It says, "Yahweh is my rock and my fortress, and my deliverer. Right, my power, my strength, in whom I will trust. My buckler, and the horn of my salvation, and my high tower." <coughs> yeah, so that. That's what the most high is to us. That's what the Lord Basham is to us. <coughs> it's like, okay. You know? So you're the same praises unto him. You know, you, you, you're not supposed to be rapping about your garments. You know, like I said, there's no, there's no difference between a guy rapping in the world about his garment. Uh, uh, so like, okay. 
there's no difference between you know these guys rapping about their garments and their clothes you know and 50 cent or or or, or um little uzi vert you know those those, those niggas rapping about their clothes and what they have on you know talking about purple rain you know but what these guys are these guys are going to be in in, in the rain a rain of nuclear missiles as you rain for those guys because when you wish i come back you know missiles are, uh, missiles are going to be raining on these guys you know then it will be purple rain but it will be red rain because the fire is red you know so when these missiles dropping these guys will see rain you know you know, so I don't want to make me make me just listen too long. You know, just want to show these guys, you know, show show prove that these guys are false prophets. You know, and they're not coming out, they're not coming coming in the spirit of your Hashem Yashai. And to prove how they are false prophets as well, they even talk, they even saying that you know that the Father and the Lord is the same person. So let's just show you how these guys are are, are completely off. How can you finally some be one person? Be, be the same person. They are one, but that one means that they are one accord. They have the same mind. So just how we, just how they, just how the Heavenly Father and the Son, the Hawa, uh, are, in, are, in, are in one mind, in one accord, we ought to be in one mind, in one accord as well, with them. So that will make us, that will make the Most High, the Son, and us, you know, hopefully luck, the treatment of the Lord. Right? That will make us one. You know? You know, so with that, as always, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai. You know, double honest to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. I do well. Salutation to Yahweh that push that out there, that push you with in all truth and sincerity. You know, shall I want to the sincere accord that, 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 that listen and subscribe, you know, to the true, to the true teachings. Of the Mosai of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. Right, until then, I say Shalom.